Welcome back to Fox 18 Sports Sunday. Now, a little less than two months ago, the Iowa women's basketball team was electrifying the Hawkeye State with its run to the Elite Eight. Their achievements were celebrated here in the Quad Cities when Lisa Bluter came to town this past Wednesday. She says the fan support at the iClub events across Iowa has been incredible after the historic run. You know, it's it's been fun just because, you know, just to share this with everybody. You know, everybody got behind our program so much. Um, we broke NCAA records for first and second round attendance. I mean, just smashed it. And so, you know, have that many people come out and just share with us the joy of our team and watching Megan play. Um, you know, I could do that over and over again. And then now she's going to hang up in the Raptors, her numbers. Just what was, I guess, behind that? How much were you involved? And just how, I guess, proud are you that they're going to do that? Well, I'm really proud that uh, Megan's going to have her jersey retired because you know the history of our program and the tremendous basketball players that we've had and to think that she's only the second player, it shows you how special it is to have that jersey retired. But it wasn't really that hard or it wasn't hard to, to convince Gary. I mean, we were both on the same page that this needed to happen sooner rather than later. And along those, how do you replace not only Megan, but Tania and Hannah? The yeah, we, yeah, we lose, a, you know, a big three, uh, a lot of our offense. But you know something? Um, we have four incoming freshmen. Uh, we've got Kathleen Doyle back, who was a first team all Big Ten selection. We have Mackenzie Meyer back, who has tremendous experience. So we're going to be a different looking team next year. Uh, but I think the culture is still there. The hard work is still there. And so I have high expectations still. Have you noticed this run maybe help recruiting at all? Have you been able to maybe get in a few more doors or a few more ears just because of the, the Elite A run? You know, I think um, what it did was uh, a lot of people had more opportunities to see us play on a national level and play at a very high level. And I think what they saw was the joy that our team plays with and the chemistry that we have. And that's attractive to a lot of people. They want to be a part of that. So I definitely think it's helped. How different will next year be from a scheme standpoint? Because you guys are oh, yeah. very Megan-centric. It seems yes. like you guys be more perimeter. Absolutely. There, there's no doubt. And uh, Kate Martin, too. Right. There's no doubt that we're going to be a different looking basketball team next year, especially offensively, just because, um, yeah, you know, we, we try to emphasize our strengths and kind of, you know, hide our weaknesses. And we were doing that with our double post offense last year and really revolved a lot of touches around Megan. But now with Megan gone, we're going to be a different looking team and more of a four out one into a style of motion kind of offensive team, which is something that we've done before. So it's kind of exciting to go back to something else again.